going through these different rules essentially one by one and I'll just kind of show you how this works uh, in case you forget the formulas you can kind of recreate where they come from and get a sense of you know how, how to do these problems so let's just take this uh, key point here 3 1 that's gonna be our point that we're gonna be working with in these examples and say we want to reflect it over the x-axis when I just fold it over this uh, x-axis so you can see this would be the location of the new point it's the mirror image over that line and you can see it's gonna be at 3 negative 1 so what happened is we made the y coordinate b the opposite sign. We kept the x coordinate the same. You can see that's a. Okay, and this is b. All we did was made b the opposite sign. So that's what reflects that point over the x axis. Now, if we want to reflect it over the y axis, think of like folding this over or the mirror image over this line. It's like when you stand in front of a mirror. If you're two feet in front of the mirror, it looks like you're two feet behind. Same thing here three units to that mirror, one, two, three units behind, you can see the location of this point is going to be at negative three, one now, negative three, one. So what happened there, when we reflect over the y-axis, it's the x-coordinate that's going to be the opposite sign. So if it's positive, it'll become negative. If it's negative, it'll become positive. But the y-coordinate will stay the same. You can see this is at the same height, okay? It's at the same y-value. Now, if you reflect over the line y equals x, y equals x is this line here on a 45 degree angle. It has a slope of 1 like that. If you take this point and you fold it over this line, okay, you want to measure the perpendicular distance to that line. If you go the same distance on the other side, okay, right there, you can see you're going to be at 1, 3 now. Okay, so what happened to go from 3, 1 to 1, 3? Well, you can see what we did is we actually switched the x and the y coordinates. Okay, and then what that does is it reflects it over this line y equals x. Now, if we look at the line y equals negative x, that's a line with a negative 1 slope. Okay, it's going down at this angle on a 45 degree. Okay, and you can see here when you reflect over this line, again, you want to measure that perpendicular distance to the line. You want to go the same distance on the other side, okay, of that line. Okay, and you can see the new coordinates are going to be negative 1, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3. So what happened there? We went from 3, 1 to negative 1, negative 3. We switched the x and the y coordinates, okay, and we made them the opposite signs. So if they were positive, we make them negative. If they're negative, we make them positive, okay? Now the capital R's here, you can see, are for rotations. So that's for when you're turning. Imagine if you pick this up and you rotate it and you turn it. And the important thing to remember is that when you're turning it counterclockwise, that's actually the positive direction. And when you turn it clockwise, that's actually the negative direction. Okay, so we're gonna be going counterclockwise, okay? And so if we wanna rotate 90 degrees, what we do is we take the x and the y coordinates, we switch them, and we make the new x coordinate the opposite sign. So for three, one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch them, so it's gonna be one, three, but now we're gonna make the new x coordinate the opposite. So this point here should be at negative one, three. Now, I was telling you at the beginning of the video, I wanted to show you some ways to remember these uh, formulas in case you forget. And what I usually do is I, I draw a triangle. I make a triangle like this, okay? And I think about pivoting at the origin. So I'm rotating this triangle. Now, look what happens now. Okay, can you see the new triangle? So if you take a simple example like 3, 1 like that, don't pick the numbers uh, so they're exactly the same, the coordinates so they're exactly the same. Pick one so that you know, it's larger than the other one. And you'll be able to see this illustration a little bit better. You can see what's happening. Now, if we rotate 180 degrees, the X and the Y coordinate are gonna stay, stay in the same spot, right? But they're both gonna be the opposite sign. So for three, one, that's gonna become negative three, negative one. And let's see if that makes sense. Left three, down one. Again, if we're using our triangle illustration, if we rotate this 180 degrees, which is a half turn, There you go, so you're right there. 270 degrees, what you do is you switch the x and y coordinates again, but now you're making the y coordinate the opposite sign. So if we switch these, one and three, but we're making the new y coordinate the opposite sign, the new one, okay? So this is gonna be at one, negative three right here. And again, if you look at that triangle, you can see right there. So it's just like rotating, 90, 180, 270, there's the location of your new point right there, my marker.